Yo, what's going on guys? Proof here bringing you the YouTube video. Today I have another tips and tricks for you guys. I've been getting a lot of comments lately on my tips and tricks videos talking about doing, you know, we want you to do more, we want you to do these certain types of tips and tricks. Uh, and I really want to do it because I want to conform to what you guys want. I want to give you guys tips on what you guys need. So uh, a lot of these comments really help me out on videos to make and they help you guys out with the tips and everything like that. So in today's video, I had a lot of requests to do a tips and tricks about how to get your accuracy better, how to aim better, stuff like that. So uh, it's a really short video today, basically. Uh, normally my tips and tricks are a whole lot longer because I have like five to six tips for each thing. But this one's going to be shorter because it's a little bit simpler if it makes sense I don't know it's a hard concept to grasp when it comes to to aiming in and to being really good with your accuracy but once you get it it's really not that hard and the steps really aren't that in depth either so bear with me my throats I've been going out and shit with my with my voice so it might go out in this video I might sound like a little bitch I don't know so just bear with me so we're gonna start with tip number one that's gonna be make sure that your sensitivity is keen for you for me I run 70 across the board I run 70 uh, you know vertical all that shit but I run 70 while I'm ADS too so when I'm aiming down sights when I move from target to target I'm also on a 70% sensitivity and that's really big for me because I don't run aim assist so for most people you would unzoom zoom back Back in, get that aim assist kick and then get the kill if you had multiple enemies for me it's just me moving around for me it's something that I'm really used to I used to play on a little bit of higher sensitivity in Battlefield 4 about a 60 70 and 80 uh, in this game it's a little bit slower so the 70 is not that bad um, but use whatever you're used to if you're used to a 20 a 30 use that whatever you're comfortable with and whatever's gonna be, really help you be able to move target to target that's a really big advantage for you in the battlefield. So that's something I would really look forward to is make sure that you have a sensitivity that you can, you know, kind of adjust to and something you're really comfortable with. Okay, so tip, tip number two is going to be make sure your enemies are centered. Now, what I mean centering, I don't mean, you know, aiming in and looking at them. When centering is when you have your crosshairs before you aim in is centered on their body. Now, if you see me on this clip, on this map, Argon Forest, almost all of my kills come from me being centered with the guy. That's why I use this clip. And you'll see what I mean by centered. Everybody that I'm shooting in this clip is going to be lined up in the crosshairs before I aim in. That's going to help you get a lot of your shots to hit. Now, a lot of times I see people aren't you know, aimed up with their crosshairs, they're not centered correctly, and they end up missing a lot of shots, especially with the medic class guns, since they're semi-automatic, the majority of them are. Um, you have to lead targets in this game, so if you're not centered in, it's going to be really hard to lead that target. So I've always told people that are new to Battlefield 1, new to Battlefield 4, new to the Battlefield series in general, you have to center. If your centering is good, you're going to be a really good player, um, especially in public match games. So that's something that I've always stressed. Make sure your centering is really good, and hopefully a few of these clips will actually showcase what the centering is. Uh, I'm going to look right here like that. I was centered in with him before I even started shooting. He wasn't moving, but it was just going to help me if he did decide to get up and run. But look, right there, I'm centered in with that guy. Easy shots. Not a big deal. Um, tip number three is going to be a little bit different. Uh, this is just going to be kind of a medic class specific. Now, I only really run the medic class, so it's easy for me to do this one. Um, and it's going to be stay still while you're shooting. Don't strafe. Uh, in other battlefields, I would have said, you know, strafe with the AEK, strafe with the H23, whatever. But in this game, you don't need to strafe with the medic class guns. They are semi-automatic guns. A lot of them shoot slower. Like on the screen right now, I'm using a Sed Blaster M1916 Factory. It has 26 rounds, but it is a very slow shooting gun. It shoots so slow, you have to lead your targets. And if you're not staying still while using this weapon, it's going to be very hard to keep your shot on, and you're going to miss a lot of bullets because of that. And if that happens, then you're just going to get disintegrated. It doesn't matter how many bullets you have if you're missing your whole clip. So make sure that you're always staying still with your weapon if you're using the meta class. Now, if you're using like an MP18 trench of the assault class, you can move around. Shotguns, you don't really have to worry about aiming, to be honest. And sniper. Of course, you want to stay still unless you're being an aggressive recon weirdo. So that's up to you. But for me, the meta class is always stay still and amen. Like this guy right here had no chance because I was sitting still. I had my shot on point. And then these guys crossing were kind of just screwed. Uh, I was able to get them weak and the teammates cleaned them up. So that's really the only tips I have for you guys. I have another hidden tip that I don't think a lot of people really know. And this is for a lot of FPS games. Uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield 1. You know, basically any FPS. I'm pretty sure it works for Titanfall 2 as well. So, 
a few years ago, when I started playing first-person shooters, I always struggled killing people at a longer range with an assault rifle. And if you know me, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I am a typical assault rifle player. In Call of Duty, you know, I use the AR, the sitting head glitches, I anchor, stuff like that. And in Battlefield Competitive, I was an anchor player for Domination, and I was just a really good AR player. So, in Battlefield 1, in this game... The AR, it doesn't really kick that much because it's a semi-automatic gun. But for guns like the Seb Blaster, I still do it. And you can actually do this for the Assault class, like the MP18 Trench and the MP18 Optical as well. So what you're going to do is every time you shoot, and I don't really have any gameplay to show you, I probably should have got that prepared, but next time you shoot any of these guns, try this out. If you're at a distance with the MP18 Trench or with a, let's say, a Sweeper, an M1907 Sweeper with the Medic class, Try pulling down on your right stick when you're in the gunfight slightly. Don't pull it down louder, you're going to look at the ground, but pull it down slightly. When you do that, it's going to make your crosshair that's focused in on their chest, it's going to pull it down just a little bit. So any recoil you have that's vertical is going to pull it straight down on their chest. That way you're always optimizing your shot, and you'll actually get a whole lot more headshots because a lot of times the recoil will pull it up. You pull it down just a little bit, you'll, you'll end up getting a lot of like those lucky one-hit, two-hit headshots from a further range. So that's what really helps me. I really have never told anybody that tip, even people that I've teamed with in the past. But that is something that really has helped me. Uh, in competitive and public match games, just be able to center my shot and then you just pull down just a little bit and you literally will kill a whole lot faster. You'll get a whole lot more headshots and you'll just you'll get more kills. That's just how it is. Your accuracy will be really good and you will just be a battlefield god. I don't know about that, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know it's kind of a shorter tips video and I haven't really uploaded in the past few days, but I've been really sick, so uh, the next few days will be a lot of videos, a lot of Battlefield content. Road to Master rank will return. I'm trying to get my level 100 shit bucket going on. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like down below. And as always, it's your boy Proof. I'm out. Peace. Still don't have anything. What's one of their names?